G'day guys, welcome back to Spacey's Arcade. Today we're going to take a look at this fantastic Adams Family Pitbull in VR. And this is from essentially what could be defined as the dream team, <laughs> uh, G5K and also the magic uh, work of the Visual Pin Workshop people and G5K was sort of one of the OG uh, table creators that created some just some awesome awesome tables that were very realistic um, over the years and of course the basis of this table is the G5K version of Adam's family and then the magic guys has been added with the physics and some updates from the VPIN workshop team. And as usual, you know, it has me gushing. Um, I can't say enough thanks to these guys. It's just incredible. I still spin out, guys, even with like the nature of the plastic. So I'm sort of bending forward here with the headset. But these translucent bumpers and the bulbs you can see inside there, it just spins me out. It spins me out. There's something weird going on with the mirror blades down the side here in VR. That might be corrected um, by the time you get this table, perhaps. They tend to do little updates. But yeah, there's something strange going there that shouldn't be reflected like that. But other than that, guys, again, this is just a, it's a su superb release. It's so good. I've had a bit of a, a, a spin on it. And the physics are so realistic, again, that... You know, once it gets this treatment from the VPIN workshop guys, all the physics and everything that they do, the time that they spend, uh, it, it ends up being like you've got the table at home now. You know, I now add the Adams family as a pimple machine that I own <laughs> because it's that good. And of course, not only in VR, you could also be playing this on a v-pin cabinet as well so let's hop in guys let's get playing welcome on it guest Oh man, the weight of this ball is just so good. It just went down that outline there and just sort of jutted a little. The little nuances like that, guys, which you just know. It's just, it's just, it's just real. Yeah, that weight of the ball going up that ramp and it only just making it is extremely realistic. Just makes those shots satisfying when you get them. Like it does on the real table. We've got Z movement there, it just ball bounce off the table with the right amount of force. I don't I just don't know how they do it, eh? Like all these years trying to perfect ball physics. Sensational. Color D and D. The old flippers flip into the music. Got an animation on Uncle Festa. Oh man, stuffed up the mamushka. Oh, I forgot to show you on the walls, guys. We've got some uh, Adam's family artwork up here. Complete the look, some nice, uh, nice suitable wallpaper in VR. And we're going again and 
just like the real pin kicks your ass. Fumes, toxic waste, it's all ours. Of course, we've got a center magnet on this game that kicks in and does some weird funky stuff with a ball in the middle of the table. Such a good layout. It's not surprising why this is a classic, this particular table. Wow. <laughs> and, you know, gone, gone are the days where you, you could just play certain VPX tables um, and you know because the physics weren't quite right you know they'd either be too easy the ball wouldn't flow right it would always be something um, that just wasn't quite right but I mean it, it's it's always been awesome to just have all these tables and get you know get better and better every year so it's not like you complain about it when you play them you sort of get used to how the physics are um, but now that we have this level of physics guys it's just it's really hard it's really hard actually to go back to other earlier builds of tables without without this sort of physics because this is so real Said it before on other VPW releases, I don't have anything to. Here yeah, we got the uh, magnet going. Look at this. Yeah, I don't have. Oh, that's so cool. I don't have anything to add in terms of any recommendations in relation to the ball movements. <laughs> magnet ball movements, so good. Um, it's just real now. Look at that. That's so cool. Off the magnet. And yet it still feels like a weighty ball going through it. Man. It does. It puts a, puts a smile on my face. Multi-ball. Got the bass speaker in the seat next to me here, guys. So it's... Uh, giving me some shakes. Oh. I know when I play the real table too I always stuff the multi ball up like I just lose the ball so quickly just like that every time. One back. Oh, great. So guys, this is you know, as I said before, this will play just as well on a pin cab. And even though you're not going to get the you know the real 3D view that you get in uh, VR, it's still going to be sensational. And, you know, I've always maintained that on the pin cab anyway, you can get right into pinball without being in VR. It's still awesome to play, even just in 2D, because the graphics are just so amazing anyway. Your brain sort of gets tricked into thinking you're playing a bit of the 3D, but yeah. There is something special when you can, you know, look around the table like this, guys. It's pretty crazy. side flipper Ooh. oh yeah I've got LUTs as well I just pressed the magna save so you can go through the different LUTs um, you know have it in a, in a darker mode let's play it in, 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 the, in this darker mode oh wow Welcome, I own a Adam family <laughs> added to my collection I don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars to buy one. Let's go, well 
I w would like to hear from, you know, pinball players that have, have really written off virtual pinball and get them to play, especially in VR, with, you know, near zero latency, uh, this sort of table, and just just say, well, what what's different? <laughs> what's different? Because remember, guys, even though, you know, you're... you're you're seeing a 2D version of what I'm seeing. For me, this is a, a real 3D world here. This table is in front of me. It's exactly the same as playing a real real table. No difference. I mean, okay, I can't physically touch the table, but that's about it at this point. That, that's where we've got to. You know, we're, and... I don't even have, I don't even have Doff in my controller on my my couch controller here. I'm gonna have to sort that out someday, guys. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I just changed the LUT by accident. I've just gone back to dark. I'm gonna have to get the main pin cab VR enabled so that I can. Oh. So yeah, so I can get all the Doff effects. I mean, I could build Doff into my little pin cab controller, guys. I guess, but. Um, I'd like to stand in front of the real machine. Uh, this is mental. This is absolutely crazy. Like little, little animations on Uncle Fester. He's getting electrocuted. Out comes thing again. Why, thank you, baby. I had the opportunity to have some one-on-one -on -one time with the Adam family when someone in the family owned one. It was many years ago, um, but that's the only machine he had at his house, and it was extremely, extremely enjoyable back then. And it just, it just, just reminds me. It just took me back. Actually, <laughs> my brain automatically said, "Greg, this is familiar to you from real life." Uncle Fester. Gonna get really tiring with my narrative when we look at these VPW tables, guys. I know, but you know, the credit you got to give it to these guys. I mean, look at this, look at this card. I can see the 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 surface of the of the cardboard texture. <laughs> Well, guys, well, there you go. That is the Adams family. We're going to definitely look at more uh, in the, uh, these amazing releases. I have been able to keep up with them. There's been so many, but we're going to get on top of that. And, yeah, I want to, I want to revisit my V-Pin cab, guys. We need to do something there. We need to get a bit of a project happening. A big rebuild, perhaps. If you like that sort of content and this sort of content with the VR pinball stuff, make sure you like and subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, guys. Again, really, really do enjoy reading your comments and your thoughts and opinions. Please share them below. And we'll see you on the next one. Until then, ciao for now.